What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I have a few little hidden secrets and references for you guys. Nothing major but one which in my opinion relates to Eris Morn and I believe will be accessible some way or another when the full game comes out. But before we go any further, if you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. Let's aim for 3000 likes, that would be absolutely epic. I also have a couple of better calls to give away, so two people who leave a comment and like this video will be picked to receive the better code make sure your youtube dms are open okay so the mission we do when we first select a character is where these things of interest are so make your way through the mission and you will eventually see Cade who shows off his gunslinger skills and takes out three of the red legion with ease while this room right here if you didn't realize is actually the room which leads to the vanguard room this is exactly where the crucible vendors are set out the door we came through is located right behind where the crucible quartermaster would be Straight across is where Lord Shax chills, offering bounties. So following the path of the mission, we come past where Eris Morn normally is. Notice she has gone, but her mysterious vase is still here. What's weird about this is when you approach this vase, you cannot melee it, you cannot shoot it. In fact, you kind of withdraw your weapon. This happens normally when you can either access something or scan something. Could this vase give us further indication of what's happened here? Will it give us a clue into the Eris Morn story in Destiny 2? Will it give us lore to explore and maybe even a separate quest of some kind? Who knows? One thing for sure is Eris Morn's mysterious vase is here and I believe it's here for a specific reason, one which we will find out on a full game's release. Okay so the next thing I want to share with you guys is more of a sad story than anything else and it is the existence of the jukebox within the tower. Many people called it the disco room, a room you only really visit to equip emotes or check out Zer when he eventually comes here. While well, within Destiny 2, this area is locked off so you can't actually access the Disco Room and to be honest, finding this area where the Vanguard Quartermaster and the future Warcraft Vendor would be isn't straightforward due to it not being an area you travel through during this mission. So to get to this area, you first need to clear out this initial room you come to. Once this room is cleared, you have to jump up to this platform to make your way to Zavala and help defend against the Red Legion. But instead of going forward with the mission, go right as I do, you will come to the area in question, the area where the future Warcraft vendor would be, an area where the Vanguard Quartermaster would be, and where the Dead Orbit vendor would be. So if you jump down to where the staircase uh, which leads to the jukebox room would have been, you can't actually access it, but if you listen carefully, you can actually hear the jukebox breathing its last breath. You can hear music playing. This is a dead end. We gotta get back into the fight. And then it kind of slows down like batteries are running out or something. Which is so sad but it's epic at the same time. This guys will one day be a throwback to the good old times of Destiny 1. You mark my words. And on that note people I am ending the video. If you enjoyed it leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. If you spotted anything else in reference of Destiny 1. Let me know what it is down below in that comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on that next one.